Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be on the new MAC spring collection and I'm so excited for spring. I'm ready. Outside there's still snow but in here it's a little market. <laughs> Whenever I put these lights up I felt like I set it up kind of in a spring selling fresh fruit type of market and I was like this looks so cute with the yellow the pops of yellow right doesn't it I, I love it so this collection is white and it has the white flower petals all over the packaging and it is really really nice I'm gonna start off with the eyes I do have the rest of my makeup on that I'm not gonna be trying in the video and this one is the palette it's white like I said it has the flower petals and inside there's neutral tones with rosy pink tones I want to do a fresh look today something simple light and fresh spring like looking I guess you could say and then I also got the two highlighters one is pink and I'm gonna try this one as blush today because I have a feeling it's gonna be way too pink for me and again same packaging on the outside which I already said that but I do really think it's beautiful and then on the inside it does have the print of the flower with the petals and this one is ombre it's from like a medium pink to a dark magenta pink so like I said I'm gonna be trying this one as blush I think We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to swatch it first and see how it looks. And then the second one is the gold highlighter. And I honestly thought it was going to be a little bit lighter. So I hope it's not too shadowy on me. But it's exactly the same. Everything and the inside also has that same print. And then this is the lip gloss that I went for. I didn't want to get a lip gloss because I feel like it's more fresh looking. This one is a darker pink. But it is supposed to be a little bit sheer. From the lip swatches that they had on the website. This one looked like it would be the nicest on me. And that's why I got it. And then you guys, I got my very, very first. Mac Fix Plus. I've never tried it. I've never had one before and I'm trying it in this cute packaging right here. This one is in the cherry blossom scent and I'm just gonna guess it's going to have a flowery scent to it. The original Mac Fix Plus I don't think has a scent to it but a lot of people love this for before your makeup and especially after your makeup because supposedly it makes your makeup look so much better and just set nicely and look really nice on your skin and I know a lot of people also love to use this for their shimmer eyeshadows and spraying them on the brush to either give you a very smooth finish or a more intense glow to the eyeshadow so today I'm gonna be trying everything like I said I did try this one as a prep but I will be trying it afterwards all over my face so I am excited about that to try it for the very first time ever because it's so popular but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the eyes and then I'll move on to the rest of my face okay so I said I wanted to do something light and spring like but we'll see what happens so I'm gonna start off with this shade right here which is the top it's like a mauve pink shade and I'm gonna use my M514 brush by MAC this is actually new um I just got this oh yeah this one doesn't have a mirror so I do have my separate mirror right here and I'm gonna apply this one on the crease area oh this is a lot a lot darker than what I was expecting I thought it was gonna be a little bit lighter but it looks very pretty by the way I don't have any setting powder on my eyes I just applied my concealer and that is the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going directly into the eyeshadow so I didn't apply any eyeshadow primer but I also didn't set my eyeshadow this eyeshadow just blended out like super fast and very easily so that's a good sign um, like I said it looks a little bit darker than what I was expecting but it looks very pretty very very pretty I'm gonna take a little bit more and just apply it right here on the outer corner and then continue to blend it in this brush looks a little bit different because it's brand new and I haven't even used it but it is the M514 which I bought another one because this is the one I use the most in my looks if it's perfectly right here on my crease area, it blends out my eyeshadow really good. And they're at Ulta for like, I think it's $8. So it's a very good brush for me. So I'm going to use my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to apply the darkest, the darkest matte shade, which is like a burgundy eyeshadow. And I'm going to pack this one on the outer part of my eye. I don't want to make it like too dark or anything, but I do want some depth on the outer corner so I'm just gonna play this out here basically just pack that on and then blend it out with my blending brush use a clean blending brush to blend this one out it's a little stained but the brush is clean and I have been doing a lot of eye swatches I'm planning on doing some eye swatches on this little palette too um, so I feel like I haven't even been talking to y'all and Sometimes that makes me talk even more <laughs> whenever I haven't filmed for a long time I'm gonna take a little bit more of the dark one with that brush it feels like it makes me talk even more whenever I come back And of course, I'm still uploading. There's still eye swatches, but I'm not really talking so 
it's like I want to talk all I can in this video so there like I said I just want to make the outer corner be a little bit darker but I don't want to intensify everything because I want to keep it really light and I think this is going to look so cute I'm gonna apply a shimmer all over the eyelid and I'm gonna go in with this one and then I'm going to spray it with the fix plus and see if there's a difference so I'm gonna use this one right here they don't have any names so I really can't tell you that um, and I'm gonna use my flat synthetic brush this is by Morphe as well this is from the Jaclyn Hill collection the JH41 and I'm gonna apply this all over the eyelid like I said I don't want to do a cut crease or anything so I'm just gonna apply this directly on my eyelid keeping it below the crease and that also applied really easily it's very shimmery it's it's very dry though you can see I did get a lot of fallout so I'm going to spray it and see how that works out I'm gonna take a little bit on my brush it's very dusty do I need to shake this I don't know but I'm gonna go ahead and spray this I haven't even oh I like the mist it's pretty like direct seems a little bit heavy but I don't know on my face yet um, but it did spray a lot. It was very misty too. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go over this and of course like any other eyeshadow whenever you wet them It prevents a lot of fallout most of the time. So yeah, it does make it a little bit more shimmery I don't feel like it's a big difference from other sprays that I have But it does uh, help it stick on to the eyelid a little bit better And even with that I did get a little bit of fallout. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that so basically the fallout that I've gotten has only been from that shimmer shade. Everything else, it's pretty good. And pack on that darker burgundy shade on the outer corner and go over the shimmer so that way I can blend these together and have a nice smooth transition between them. Just blending out these two colors so that way there's no line right there or something like really, really harsh. But that is basically it. I did get a lot of fallout from both I would say from the dark shade and the shimmer shade it came off that was like super easy and fast that was like one of the easiest fastest looks I've done um, very simple use three shades only it looks really good on the eyelid and I know a lot of y'all have been telling me that you would like to see more wearable looks and I know I do a lot of colorful looks and I love that I love doing cut creases and stuff but I of course want to do a little bit of everything and I do plan on doing more like wearable looks whether it be colorful wearable looks or just simple easier looks without doing cut creases and using concealer and like doing a nice precise line and things like that um, I do want to do some everyday looks and I think this is perfect for that so I'm gonna take the the I'm gonna take that same shade that I used earlier and I'm gonna use a smaller brush and this is the color that I'm gonna use on the lower lash line we're gonna see if there's fallout because this is the only shade that I'm using down here this one is such a smooth matte shade and I did get a tiny bit, but almost nothing as far as fallout right there. And I'm not planning on using any other shade. I think this is good. No, I'm lying. I am going to use another shade. And I'm going to take the dark one again. And I'm going to apply this one with a flat brush. This is the JH43. And I'm going to focus this shade on the outer part of the lower lash line. I'm not going to go all the way to the inner corner, just on the outside. And just make sure that it looks pretty dark down here. I think it's going to look very pretty like that. So there, just like that. And then taking the small the, the small brush and lightly going over that. Because like I said, I don't want to make the entire la lower lash line look dark. And then I'm going to use a small little brush. And I'm going to take the light shimmer white shade. It's like a white pearly type of shade. And I'm going to apply this shade on the inner corner. And I'm thinking of also applying this on the brow bone. Oh, this is pretty intense. This is a lot more like a shimmer rather than this loose glitter that I have up here. It's not really glitter, but it was a very loose shimmer and this one's not. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and apply this one a tiny bit right here on the high point of my brow. I'm just going to blend that out with my finger because it helps it like blend right in. And I pretty much did the same thing for my brows today and the rest of my makeup. Like nothing is super heavy makeup and my brows I filled them in with the pencil and I went over it with the gel. So everything is just like very simple, wearable, everyday-ish I guess you could say. So that is it for the eyes and next I'm going to go ahead and just show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and apply mascara. I'm not going to do eyeliner. I don't know what color I'm going to use on my waterline yet but I think I am going to apply something. And I'm also going to just 
put mascara on. I'm not going to do falsies today. Then for mascara, I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash. Oh, I haven't applied my waterline eyeliner, but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and do my lower lashes with the same mascara. Okay, and then on the waterline, I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Eye Bright Pencil. And this is just a nude pencil, and I'm going to use this one on the waterline. So there you go. That is basically it for the eye look. Like I said, super simple, fast to recreate. Of course, I'm talking through it, so it takes a little bit longer, but I think this is very wearable. You can pretty much use this for anything, and it's so easy, and you only need a few shades with this. I mean, this little palette does give you a good amount of options. It has nine shades, and I didn't use that many. How many did I use today? I used four shades, including the one that's in my inner corner and my brow bone. So it was very, very easy, easy steps, and nothing that's too complicated with like concealer, cutting the crease, or anything like that. So anyways, I am going to go ahead and do the other eye, and then I will come back. Okay, so I look a little crazy right now, but I did apply the eyeshadow with the mist instead of just going in with it dry first and I didn't get that fallout and it also applied a lot smoother so over here it does look loose and kind of you know a little bit flaky because it did get on the rest of my eyeshadow but over here it does look a lot smoother because I wet it first so like I said the eyeshadow is very powdery and you don't have to use a fix plus you can use any spray but it is a little powdery but once you spray it um, it does apply smoother on the eyes because it's not loose, so it's not getting everywhere. And now I just applied it a second time, and look at the difference. It's like really intense. But I did just want to show you this part because I do feel like it makes a difference in the way that the shimmer looks and the way that it applies. Okay, so this is the one that I said I'm going to try to use as a blush because I think it's going to be a little bit too intense for me to use as highlight. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch this. And it seems like, just from swatching it, let me see. It does look pretty intense. Like, it looks pink, pink. But I don't know if the glitter is just on top. Yes, it is. At least that's what it looks like to me. Because I don't even see any shimmer in it at all. After I took it off. Let me swatch over here. I know it's pretty and everything, but I just want to see for myself. Yeah, so that ombre part is just an overspray, you guys. So underneath it, it is just going to look like that. And it looks mauvey pink. It doesn't even look that shimmery. So I don't even know why they call this a highlighter. Highlight powder. Okay, so anyways, like I said, I'm going to try to use it as blush today. And I'm going to take my blush brush. Yes, underneath it, it just looks like a light little blush. And I'm going to apply it on my cheeks. Let me see. Let me inspect this. To me, it looks like a blush. <laughs> it looks like a blush with maybe a little bit of shimmer. That's totally normal for a blush to have too. Not all blushes are matte. And this looks exactly like a blush to me. So I don't know why they call it a highlight. But this would not look like a highlight to me at all. It doesn't even have any shimmer to it. And the rest of it is already like around the pan. Let me show you a close up. The powder is around the pan. You see that? Mainly on this side. So yeah, that was just like a dark overspray, dark pink overspray. And underneath it, like I said, it doesn't even look shimmery. So to me, perfect because pink doesn't always look good on my skin tone, especially when it's that pink looking. So to me, it worked out. But I don't know, if you're buying this to use it as a highlight, it's probably not gonna, it's not gonna be the one. And then this one, now I want to know if it's just on top the glowy part. So let me swatch it. Nope, this one looks like it's going to be very first of all too dark for me <laughs> but it does look like it's going to be very glowy so this one no wait I'm wrong because of the lights let me let me go over this look underneath all this that is for sure just just on top you guys look at that it's pretty much like a matte sh maybe it's in between like a matte and a shimmer pretty much like the blush but it doesn't even look glowy. Like I have their other MAC highlighters and this one does not look like it. This is called Highlight Powder, okay? So I'm not making this up. Looking at it now, it's a big difference from whenever I first opened it. I'm gonna use this one as a bronzer, very lightly. That's probably a lot. But honestly, that is, just looks like a shimmery bronzer now. It does not look like a highlighter at all. At the beginning it did, it looked very glowy. I was actually a little scared of how glowy it was going to look. Look at that. Looks like a nice 
more of like a warm tone bronzer on my skin tone. Well, at least I can still use the products. Like I'm making them work as, you know, as a bronzer and a blush. But if someone's buying this, unless you're buying it just to keep it in your drawer and keeping it look pretty, because it is pretty. Like the print is pretty and the glow that it had on top because look it doesn't even have the shimmer on top anymore so yeah this for sure works for me as a bronzer and i'm actually happy about this one because well now i'm happy about both because that highlighter would have been too dark for my skin tone and this blush the pink would be too intense as a highlight for me so it does work out nicely as a blush okay so for highlight i'm going to use a mac highlighter and this one is oh darling this one is one of the extra dimension fin skin finishes this is one of the holiday ones and this one is a true true highlight golden highlighter very very beautiful one of my favorite highlighters actually and I love this one so I guess I'm not like super disappointed because I'm still using them like they are still wearable on my skin tone but I think you would probably be disappointed if you were hoping that these were just like pretty highlighters and they're not but it worked out for me and it worked out for the look that I'm doing like I'm doing a full face of the collection so I guess it worked out but if you were expecting for them to just be highlighters they're not. I guess that's why it's always good to watch a video <laughs> before buying something because you never know you never know and like that well like I'm trying it for you okay and then before I put my lip gloss I'm gonna go ahead and spray this and I can tell right away from whenever I was spraying it on my brush for the shimmer that at the beginning of it it's very intense very direct and then it gets a little wider and the mist is a little bit more spread out so I need to spray this kind of far because I could just tell now I'm gonna get away from my microphone so I'm just gonna apply this all over my face and it does spray a lot so I'm gonna yeah it's very misty I do like the way that it feels but I do have to spray it far away and it does smell like a very 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 light floral scent but barely there it's not intense i don't even smell it anymore it's like i have to really stick my nose in there in order to smell it and yeah then you have to worry about too much of the scent if you don't really like a floral scent because i could barely smell it whenever i'm spraying it and i could and i can't even smell it now then lastly i am going to apply the lip gloss this looks pretty it looks pretty and even like super glossy super glowy this one lip gloss right this is what they call them yeah this lip gloss is super super shiny like really shiny it does feel pretty thick on the lips but not uncomfortable but of course it is a lip gloss it is a lip gloss so it's going to be sticky of course the color looks nice and even i like the tone of it i'm glad i went with this one because the other ones were pretty light and like i said those lip t those type of lip glosses kind of look a little washed out on me um so yeah let me just swatch it for you right here on my hand so you can see it but i mean i'm wearing it so same thing but you can see there you can see how shiny it looks it's just very very pretty so i am happy with the lip gloss so let me quickly go over everything i do feel like the eyeshadows were very easy to work with except for the shimmer shade that was a little bit loose i am curious about the other shimmers but it does look like they're a little bit different kind of like the white one that i applied so i'm hoping that they're not as powdery and as loose as this one was this is the only one that looks a little bit more like it's flaky just by looking at it, that's just how it looks, a little bit drier. But I did want to try that color because it looked very pretty and shimmery. So I wanted to try that one. And as far as the two matte ones, they were very easy to work with, to blend out. And also, um, I didn't get that much fallout from them. I did get a little bit from the dark one, but not too much to where it was hard to take off or anything like that. I like the blend of them. I like the tones. I like just how easy it was to work with the shades. So it's like the options in here work well together and it's like, okay, you don't really have to think too much about what color you should use. I feel like this this eye look was very easy to create. It was very easy, very fast. So I do like that. I like the eyeshadow palette and I feel like the quality is up there with any other type of MAC eyeshadows that I've tried from their other small palettes like this. And then the highlighters. <laughs> the highlighters, I am happy with them in the way that I use them. I would for sure not be able to use either one of these as a highlight. So if that's what you're expecting from these, I think you're going to be disappointed. This one looks really pretty as a blush. So it is kind of like a matte sheen. That's what it looks like. It doesn't look very shimmery. It's more like a matte sheen. It still has a little bit of that overspray that it had, but it's pretty much gone. But that is not inside the entire product. So 
yeah that's all i'm gonna say about that because it looks and works like a blush for me and then this one even though i wanted it to be like a highlighter like a nice and intense glowy highlighter like the the highlighter that i'm actually wearing it worked out as the bronzer so it worked out for me it worked out for my skin tone and i do like the lip gloss i think it's super super shimmery and pretty and it goes good with the look and i think it would go good with any color that's in here um i do like the tone of it but they do have other shades if you don't like this tone they do have other ones but it is like any other lip gloss so there's nothing super special about it it is just a pink it's just the outer packaging and it goes with the rest of the products that i got so i just wanted something to complete the look but you don't have to it's just a lip gloss though so there's nothing super unique about it and then as far as this one i am happy with it i like the way that it sprays it felt fresh it felt good and it did make my makeup look a lot less pow less it looked less powdery than it did at the beginning and of course it just helps your makeup set now i don't know how long it will keep my makeup on or anything like that and it did work out to spray my eyeshadow so even though i don't feel like there's anything too too different from this and maybe like my pixie spray or something like that because i haven't used it enough to like test it out and see if it actually keeps my makeup looking fresh longer or last longer you know things like that i don't know yet but so far it is nice it's fresh and like i said it does smell like flowers but only for a few seconds it's like i cannot smell it now and i cannot smell it after a few seconds after applying it. So I feel like if you're not too sure about the scent but you want it for the bottle, I don't feel like the scent would be a problem because like I said, it goes away really quickly. So yes, you guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this first impression try on. Let me know what you think about this collection below and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.